everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well um as well as you can be in the current crazy circumstances that we find ourselves in but this is my first video back for the year my first video of 2021 i'm so excited to be back this is going up a little bit later than i planned i wanted this to go up on monday but things have just you know been a bit bizarre as we all know and it took me a few more days to get back into the swing of things and I thought I'm not going to be harsh on myself I'm going to film this video when I'm really in the mood um so this is of course as you probably know by the title my what I got for Christmas video and every single year I'm like I'm not going to make another one next year I'm not going to make another one next year um and I also saw a TikTok of somebody like really taking the mick out of youtubers that make these videos and it made me cringe so bad um it is kind of like it is kind of weird to do this isn't it but i've done it for so long now everyone that's watched me for a long time i really hope knows that this is not done in any way to kind of you know brag about what i got i'm 30 now i don't ask for presents i haven't asked for anything i mean that's a kind of a lie because ricky nagged me for weeks and weeks to give him a few ideas of things I wanted so I did write a list of things but it wasn't a list of I want all these things it was just ideas for if he was going to get me a present um but anyway yeah I'm not going to do a whole big disclaimer if you enjoy this kind of video and it it feels like a light-hearted enjoyable thing for you to watch right now then please watch it if it's something that is gonna make you feel bad then please just click off honestly it's completely fine so I'm just gonna get straight into it so the first thing I wanted to show you is a little Jo Malone box which I was very excited to open um one of my favorite fragrances is Velvet Rose and Oud it's probably like my favorite ever it's just absolutely gorgeous and I was very excited to receive this box which has three Jo Malone products in I gave Ricky some ideas of things that I would like in this scent and he got all three and I honestly did not expect or want him to do that so I was kind of like you should not have done that but anyway um they will be very well loved and used I can't wait to put things out this is the thing I always wait to show you in videos what I got before I use anything well apart from edible things but anyway so this is a velvet rose and oud candle obviously I can't let you smell it i wish i could it's just the most gorgeous scent i think typically a lot of people think rose scented things are quite old-fashioned but this isn't at all i think with the mix of the oud it makes the scent really deep and warm um it's just so cozy but it works all year round it's absolutely beautiful um so also i got the hair mist which I thought would be a really nice alternative to the actual perfume or cologne um, because it is much cheaper so obviously this, the scent probably won't last as long but you'll probably find that it would last as long as a regular kind of perfume because it's still expensive for what it is anyway I just thought a hair mist would be lovely because do you ever find that your hair smells a bit burnt after you've used like heated tools on it so anyway yeah this smells gorgeous i shouldn't have sprayed that because i'm going to start going like talking like this now but it smells so nice i did have a spritz of this the other day because i've never had a hair mist from joe malone so i was intrigued to see how long it would last and honestly i could kind of like smell it all day when my hair flicked so that is such a lovely idea see i'm talking like this already and then this is the velvet oud and rose um cologne intense so i've never had one uh, this fragrance in a perfume before i've only ever had the candle so i'm very excited i love using jo malone as a perfume and as a room spray as well like I, i'm not sure if that sounds wasteful because they do obviously do their home fragrances i don't think they do it in this but if someone's coming around and you're having a really nice say if someone's coming around literally no one's coming around at the moment at all are they it's such a stupid thing to say but when the world goes back to normal when people come through the front door, you can just spray a few spritzes of this and it makes the whole house smell incredible. So I think it's totally worth using for that as well. You also get the little matches whenever you buy a Jo Malone candle. So I got those and I love these as well. I did actually get this candle as well, which I was so thrilled about because this is in my top favourite scents as well. And this is the Blackberry and Bay candle. So this is one of their kind of like classics. A lot of people love this scent. Again, it's it's a little bit similar to the Velvet Rose and Oud in the fact that it's it's just like pretty, it's obviously fruity, um, whereas that one's more floral and it's quite warming and it's just a lovely scent that, again, I would burn all year round. So this is beautiful. Next up, I've seen so many people get them this year. Um, I was very excited to receive a Hotel Chocolat 
velvetizer so i've wanted this since at least last year i don't know if they did they come out last year or, or before that i'm not sure but i'm sure i saw them last year and just thought it was incredible i'm a massive hot chocolate fan i love it um so i got the i think it's the copper it's called so yeah it's like a goldy copper color i feel that was absolutely beautiful but you can also get um well you can see them all there so there's like um a black or charcoal there's the copper and the white i would have been happy with any of them to be honest and i'll just quickly get it out because i wanted to show you it i didn't realize it comes with two um little cups so beautiful they come with these aren't they absolutely gorgeous i'd like to get some more of those because i just think i mean i just have a hot chocolate in a mug but that just looks so classy i love that um but the one thing which is totally not me moaning because he was not to realize at all oh i don't want to stack those because they're going to break i'm just going to put them up there um it didn't come with any hot chocolate like you'd think it would come it comes in this cute little bag unless i've completely missed it but i did look on the website um yeah it doesn't even come with one sachet of hot chocolate so i've now ordered some hot chocolate from hotel chocolate I'm, I'm sure you can use any you guys maybe can correct me if i can use like normal hot chocolate powder in it or something but i thought you had to use proper hot chocolate flakes so i thought it was best to get the actual hotel chocolate ones they do pouches and they do pots of them um but it's not coming until the 14th of january so i'm a little bit like i really want to try it but i can't so i can't tell you how good it is but i know people rave about them it kind of looks a bit like a little kettle doesn't it it comes with the kettle plate so that's how you heat up the milk and then oh i just can't wait to actually finally try it but i think it looks really cool it will look nice out on the side um and yeah i'll let you know on instagram what i think of it so i'm very excited to try that one as well i got some fluffy cozy socks how can you not have cozy socks at christmas so they're pink and cream and i'm actually really excited to finally be able to wear these now so that'll be really nice all the way through gloomy january um and also ricky very kindly got me a bottle of um coco mademoiselle this is like my scent if you've watched my birthday and christmas videos i obviously i don't get it for every birthday and christmas but dotted throughout all of them over the years there have been a few of these um i wear this pretty much all the time obviously i'm gonna like branch out into my joe malone now but this is kind of it, what i wear and then i got some more chocolate <laughs> so these are kind of i'm gonna be honest here look Kind of half gone um these are the thorntons ones so obviously you just get like a really gorgeous collection the continental chocolate collection so that's kind of one of my christmas favorites to receive um but i also got this which was like really unexpected but really lovely and thoughtful so i'm gonna put up an actual picture because i've kind of ruined this because they didn't last they don't last that long um i managed to save a couple to show you but i'm gonna put a picture up so this is a box i think it's the nut nutcracker collection or something like that from the bakery in london called peggy portion so if you've ever seen it it's that beautiful pink um bakery um it's in belgravia and it's beautiful and yeah they do they did these gift boxes basically peggy portion the nutcracker Con confectionery hamper nutcracker vanilla cookie Can you see that so cute and then we've got the jolly gingerbread cookies they're adorable and I, they all came with these little pink bows like that um and then i've got these cinnamon stars and also the pink marshmallow poles. If you're wondering, um, a few of these bits obviously are from Ricky, but like my mum managed to send me that for Christmas from my mum and dad, so that was from them. And we managed to do like a few doorstep drops to people and them to us, so that's kind of how we've done it. Um, but yeah, that was absolutely beautiful and just such a special Christmassy girly gift with a lot of thought behind it because it's just a place that I love to visit and I cannot wait till we can go there again. Um, I also got these really cute pyjamas. They're from Pretty Little Thing and they're just your classic sort of Victoria's Secret-esque silky satin 
pink stripy pyjamas and I think these are like a little short sleeve shirt and shorts so I'll probably save these for when it's warmer um, but they look absolutely beautiful yeah they're shorts so really looking forward to wearing those I got a couple of books um, so this one is called The Beauty of Home by Mary Flanagan um, obviously you guys probably know that I am just interiors obsessed so flicking through beautiful, oh, I'm not going to be able to show you these, but all these beautiful coffee table books is just my idea of heaven, like with a cup of hot chocolate. Um, this one, I don't know if this is an American author, but the the rooms look quite, uh, they look quite traditional, but they also look quite um, farmhouse, like American, which is one of my favourite kind of styles. So I'm going to be very interested to look through this. Um, absolutely beautiful. And then... Um, this book was from my nan and granddad and this is called The Floral Home and the reason my nan thought to get me this is because she had it when I was little and I would always look through it and you guys again if you watch me for a really long time you'll know like our first rented house was just completely floral everything pink floral bedroom a blue floral living room how Ricky put up with it I don't know um, but it, I just loved it um, and my style was probably not so much like that anymore and obviously all of the interiors are very like traditional and it's just a beautiful book to look through like i think my style has got a lot more classic or i don't know it's definitely not as floral but this book brings back so many memories and it's just a really beautiful thing to look through like i don't even think they make this book anymore so um it's just yeah it's stunning it reminds me of my nan because i think i got my love of florals from her because her home was very much like this when i was young as well and yeah it's just absolutely beautiful like there's a whole um page of plates i just saw like, all these blue and white plates that they used to have and things so i absolutely love that so that was so thoughtful um and then i also got this <laughs> little framed picture of elliot with his lockdown hair so funny and Pippa which I thought was really really cute um and then also these little um what are they loafers yeah loafers so they look like this they're quite like Gucci they're very Gucci inspired um I thought they were really sweet they've got like a suede bit on the top and they've got the chain detail and then the patent pink leather so yeah they're really pretty but I think that's everything I always worry every year that I've missed something out and usually I do because I've put it somewhere or used it already and um, so I'm really sorry if I've left anything out I did get some lovely vouchers um, and things like that which obviously I didn't show in the video but I'm so grateful for everything I received um, and yeah that is my Christmas 2020 what I got for it video. <laughs> um, I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to be back with lots of new videos very soon. Lots of exciting ones coming up, hopefully. If you would like to let me know what you'd like to see coming up in the comments, I will also try and get around to making those for you because I want to make what you guys want to see. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and come and join us over here. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye, guys.